Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. If you guys missed any of the previous videos, I'll leave the link to the playlist on the top of the description. Also, if you guys are still enjoying the series, a simple like would go a long way. It helps the videos get recommended. It helps me out big time. And with that being said, let's enjoy the video. We are now 92 farming, so we're officially halfway done to 99. That is very nice. Here is something that I have not yet done, but I'm very well aware that it is an elite task, and that is to resurrect crops. Yebimti, ah, kurva. All right, so I'm lucky. I'm lucky that this died as well. I swear if this doesn't work, then we're gonna be smashing things. There it is, 200, wait, no. 100 points. I thought it was 250. Okay, there we go. 100 points. We are now at 11,860. All right, we're gonna take a new task here. Necreals. Nice. I need rune boots. I don't have them yet. Perfect. And on top of that, I am gonna be opening these 12 brimstone keys and all I need from here is literally coal. Just give me coal and I'm happy gamer. That's not coal, but it's okay. Anka diamonds. Ooh, that's perfect. Dragon fruit is still good. Steel bar is still good. For some smithing XP, 200 sharks, that's amazing. Um, no coal yet, though. Iron ore, not something that I need. More steel bars, more diamonds, I think, and coins. Right, no coal, but pretty decent loot. And most importantly, we can now do neck reels and hopefully get ourselves a rune boots. Hey, there we go. Rune boots obtained. Very nice. I'm going to finish the task. This is going to be a task that's going to give me a lot of money. But finally, uh, we got the boots at 88, almost 89. Slayer, nice. There it is, 89 Slayer. Uh, I need six more levels in order to complete Elite Diaries. That is currently what we're working on on the main account. We need that 95 to then be able to defeat Hydra. I'm also very close to attack level here and very close to defense level, so I'll be getting that up in the next couple of minutes. Uh, but I'm looking forward to training more Slayer. It's still quite fast with two times XP, especially when you get those superiors. Here we go, 92 attack, and now I'm actually just gonna train defense, so I get these defense levels a little bit faster. And here we go, 88 defense, and now I can train shared again. I actually just got dragon knives on the main account. I'm doing a worm task, and 97 of them. Is there a task to equip this? No, it's not. Fuck. 93 strength, and we are still on the worm task, very close to 89 defense as well. Alright, so now that I have a couple of points stacked up on the main account, I still haven't unlocked the things that I pretty much have to unlock. Now, Reptile got ripped in order for me to kill some lizard men. I will be going for 1000 shaman kills just for the points, so it's smart to unlock this better early than late. And also, uh, this one here, uh, where I can get assigned dragons, red dragons, that's also a point task, so I might as well do it. Um, confirm that. And now from here... I think all the points are basically going into buying a rune pouch and a herb sack. I do want to get a rune pouch for raids and herb sack is just all in all pretty helpful. Here we go, we got another superior, this time on the main account. And we are very close to a slayer level, which is kind of cool. Let's see how much XP we actually get for these. There we go, 41,000 experience. How insane is that? That's actually crazy. Here it is, big level 90 on the main account. I absolutely love Bloodveld task. It's so much XP with 2x XP, and I'm pretty lucky to have this spot to myself. There's like not many people online right now. But 500k XP for 91. We obviously want this to be 95 and eventually 99. Yep, it is 74 prayer. Very nice. Here we go, 90 defense coming through, enjoying myself a Spectre task at a moment. And as you can see, there's gonna be another system update. So what do we do with the system update? We go and buy dynamite. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to do that in, like, 38 minutes, I guess. But for now, the next level... I mean, I also got an attack level at some point and an HP level at some point, but stats are starting to look really, really nice. 10 extra points for completed Aberrant Spectre task. I'm gonna grab a new one and then get prepared for the system update. Lizardman, very nice. We're gonna do some shamans. Hopefully get very lucky with the Dragon Warhammer. You never really know. Here it is. I've been fishing for so long that I just got 94 strength um, and almost 81 agility from strictly fishing. If we look at experience, we are over 21 million right now. I usually just come here when I edit. I know that through the time of the course of the leagues, I should be getting getting either 50 mil, maybe even 100 mil fishing experience straight from AFKing. And it's awesome because I'm getting agility XP and I'm getting strength XP. So it is really, really good. Here we go. A full agility level from literally just catching fish. That is awesome. Uh, wow. 228k away from another one. 
That will take very long time if I plan on doing it with fishing. I might do it with Winter Todd as well and then just jumping the gap. I'm not quite sure yet how I'll go about training agility. I do want to get more competitive in leagues. At the moment, the threshold to be Dragon Tier is 9.9k, but the person who is, you know, really highly ranked has pretty much close to 20k points. Now, if I ever focused on points, I could be much higher, but so far, I haven't really done that. However, we're gonna be changing that in the near future. We're gonna be going for a lot of points, and then the first easy one that I can get is to just chop down a magic tree right here. I made a quick spreadsheet of the things that I want to do that are going to give me a lot of points. First one obviously is this magic tree. Then I want to kill 1000 lizardman shamans. I'll do them when I get the task and currently I do have a task so we're going to be killing I think a hundred and something shamans very soon. Then I can kill about over a thousand sarachnis for some decent points and then 10 scotizos for decent points and then I can get assigned a bunch of tasks that I still haven't been assigned such as abyssal demons, Drakes and Hydras, all of them giving me nice amount of points. And then another easy one is to get the Runite Ore from a Blast Mine, but I still need a couple of levels for that. After that, I want to reach 100 million Fire Making experience, and I'm very close to 25 million Fishing experience, which is also going to give me a fair amount of points. As you can see, this one was 100 League Points, pushing me just over 12,000 League Points, which is awesome. Before I go ahead and kill shamans, I will kill Hespori to see if we can maybe get a bucket and to get some nice farming XP. How much XP? 126,000 for 93 farming. Very nice. What did we end up getting? Kronos and Limpurt Seed. So no bucket, but that's completely fine. Let's plant another one. Let's go ahead and kill shamans. And I also didn't realize that I was probably in a very laggy world. Yeah. So that's why I couldn't even flick in the end, that was random. Uh, but yeah, I think it's time for me to go to sleep and then in the morning kill some shamans. I was actually so close to 80 Herb Lord that I really wanted to knock it out. And since I'm already making herbs, I might as well finish all of them. So I don't know if I can get to 81, but if I can, that would be awesome. But there it is, 80 Herb Lord and we get, I think, 100 League Points. There it is, 100 League Points on top of what we already have. And now we have a pretty cool looking number, 1, 2, 1, 2, and 0. Very nice. Gonna be making a lot of potions though, and I might have to go and buy a bunch of vials, because uh, kind of ran out of them. And yes, I did manage to get all the way up to 81 Herblor. Very nice. I think 82 is the threshold to do brews. Oh no, I can do brews right now. Awesome. And I think from all the woodcutting that I did, there we go. We do have a bunch of these. So who knows? Maybe we can get all the way up to 82. I'm not sure. I have a bunch of toad flex and a bunch of... Uh, Nests, I might be able to get 82. Nice, 82 Herbler. Do I unlock anything new? Not really, nothing that I really need. And I'm making a bunch of brews. I'm almost done though, so I don't think I have enough for 83. Never mind, I guess I can reach 83 Herbler. Very nice, but now I really can't reach 84. A very nice first trip on the shamans, as you can see, a lot of alcohols. I'm not really gonna go and price check that, but for me, the most important one are these fangs. The fact that I can get these fangs pretty consistently is very good. I'm not quite sure how many tasks I'll do, I guess I'll just continue with Slayer and see how many we get, but in total, I think I wanna kill 500 rather than 1000. Um, because I'm also going to be getting elite clues from them. I am also fully decided how many clue scrolls I want to complete on the account. I'll be going for 500 easy, medium and hard clue scrolls and 100 masters and elites. Right now elites are for me the hardest to get and the way for me to get them is pretty much abyssal demons and shamans. Those are going to be the best way to get it. So until I have 100 elites I'm definitely going to be doing that task. I think that's how I'm going to decide whether I'll do it or if I should rather not do the lizard and shamans. Nice, we got another redwood, that's so good. I'm so happy for that. Here we go, we have completed 100 Lizardman Shaman kills for a nice little 50 points, pushing us over 12,170. Very nice, and uh, I think I have, yeah, I have only 8 left on the task. So, I think the next point task will be 250 and then 500. So, I think we might go for at least 250, but who knows, maybe even 500, uh, depending on what tasks we actually end up getting. I'll be doing, if I get this for a task, I'll do it, and if I don't, I won't do it. Here we go, Lizardman task is also completed on the account, which is very nice. I end up getting quite a lot of loot, and most importantly, quite a lot of elites. I'm gonna go ahead, I think, and do a farm run, and then, actually, I'll take the new task first, then do the farm run after, and uh, yeah, see what do we get. So there's still a couple of tasks that I never got, one of them being Drakes, I've never finished it, Abyssal Demons, both of those giving me 50 points, stuff like that. So let's hope we get a unique Slayer task right now. 
I ended up getting Abby Specs, which is fine, it's an AFK task, which means we're gonna be doing Hydra on our PVM account, so that should be fun, while we AFK this and probably get 91 Slayer. Is that a level though? There it is, 98! Prayer and 126 total level on our AFK account. Well, not on, not not the AFK account anymore. Now it's a PVM account, but that is awesome. I'm, I'm gonna bank after this trip. Just one more level to go for that 99 prayer, but being level one to six combat in leagues feels pretty good actually. So let's go here and let's bank. That's awesome. Pretty damn awesome. A 25 minute trip, almost 900k in loot there. Very nice. But how broken would that be? Anyways, 91 Slayer on our main account. Very nice. Four more levels to go for that Hydra goal. And um, yeah, I'm enjoying the Abyss Specs. It's honestly a pretty good task because I can just AFK it. It's pretty chill. I like it. Nice. We just got a Mystic Robe Bottom Dark. It's one in 516 drop or something like that. It's basically like getting a whip from Abyssal Demons. I don't think I have an enchanted piece on this account, so that is actually gonna be a very nice upgrade. I'm very happy with that. That is gonna be huge. As if I just got another one. Holy, I know people that went extremely dry to get this, and here I am getting them pretty much back to back. That is insane. Here we go, let's see what we get from Hespori number 3 on the, uh, on the AFK account, and we get 2 Kronos and some Toad Flex. Nice. Onyx Bolt, ooh, okay. That's pretty good, actually. I can end up using those at some point. They're enchanted as well, so those are pretty fucking good. Another 24 minute trip for 1.6 million? Holy moly, that's so much money, that's really crazy. I will do one trip with Dragonstone Bolts, just to see how it feels, and because I don't think I want to use them anywhere else. Oh, we have completed 50 Alchemical Hydra, and we got 50 more points. Another 20 minute trip for 500k and I am out of supplies once again so we're going to be doing basically farm runs and temple spiders for a little bit until I have, you know, supplies again to where I can do Hydra. So, so far I have killed 56, it definitely takes a long time and uh, I definitely neglected this account's farming level. Therefore, I don't actually have the potions needed in order to keep doing Hydra consistently. Like, if we look at the prayer potions, I'm basically completely out. So, yeah, we need to start farming and, uh, you know, in the process, I might as well train my Slayer higher. Why not? And get my stats to closer to 50 million experience. I'm gonna try to kill some Sarachnis and see if we can get something cool. Worst case scenario, though, I think like 100 Sarachnis is some decent points, so we get that even on the AFK account. But a good thing to get would be, I don't know, like, uh, hopefully some weed or some shit, I don't know, man. We just got Superior Banshee. I haven't had that yet, actually, because, you know, I would never personally kill Banshee in the past, because, yeah. Uh, but yeah, looks kind of cool. Let's see what we get. Right, here we go, watch this. 22k XP, pretty nice, and... Miss Battle stuff, wait! That is amazing! I swear that's points. I swear that's points. Yup, 100 leak points. That is really, really insane. Wait, that's very rare as well. Wait, that's so good. I'm so happy, dude. Yes, nice. Here we go, 94 attack. Very nice. The next level is gonna be hit points to 98 and then very close to 91 defense right after that. So getting these levels pretty damn high. Once we do get 99 in all of them, it's gonna be a big point boost. So that's what we're going for. And in the meantime, I'm enjoying some Sarachnis, but at the moment I need to buy more uh, stews because I ran out of food. There we go, KC number 5 for a giant sack. <laughs> and uh, that's basically 100 uh, red spider eggs, which is cool. Even though my herb lore level is still a bit low, it will help once, it, once it's higher. Well, I did just get 98 hit points, but I'm in a little bit of a sticky situation. But uh, here it is in the chat, as you can see. 98, very nice. And, uh, wait, fuck, 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 there we go, boom, boom, okay, we're good. Just trust me on the word, okay? I, I got 98 HP, one more level to go. Right, is there anything good you can actually get from this? Like, aside from... That yeah, engine pot's pretty good, I guess, and some decent food, nice. We also opened 10 grubby chests, which is 50 points. Here we go, 91 defense, very nice, 117 combat. And I think I'm gonna pretty much, well, this is gonna be my next 99, it's already decided 99 hit points, and I'm very close to 95 strength as well, basically all through shared and fishing, so that is very nice. And here we go, 95 strength and 20, 25 total, 
And I think this is a nice place to end the video. We're almost 118 combat with 12,290 league points. And if we take a look at our uh, PVM account, we have 8,780 league points. Um, I do appreciate you all for watching the video. If you enjoyed, consider liking the video, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want, you can also join the channel as a member and contribute $1 per month you know, to support me. Currently, the supporters are Tage Foldoy, Penguin, Yebigabrate, Mr. Original Gamer, Nathan, and Johnny. Thank you very much, you guys, for supporting me. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again tomorrow.